It's not just the students. Local legislators are livid over President Stanley's decision to cut the Southampton campus, and together, they're fighting to keep it open. I, I told the president, I said, you know, we're going to fight you to the death on this. And he looked at me and he said, well, what do you mean? And, <laughs> and today he's finding out. At a press conference held at the campus's landmark windmill, lawmakers propose an alternative to the closure. What uh, the town is, is going to be looking at and being offering to the state university is to buy the development rights on this 82-acre campus. To protect the scenic school, Southampton Town has offered to tap into millions of dollars held in a community preservation fund. Board members from Southampton Town express staunch support of the plan. Mr. President, your priorities are wrong. Oh. Our priorities stand right here. Yeah. But it looks as though President Stanley intends to keep the closed campus. Um, we're not putting the campus for sale. That's been a question before. It's not up for sale right now. Um, it's not up for sale, period. Um, and we've been working very hard, and we'll continue to work very hard to find ways to use the campus that doesn't lose money. Among Southampton students, stories swirl about sinister plans for their school. Nobody really knows his motives yet. Uh, nobody really knows what his plan is, aside from the people behind closed doors. And uh, I guess, in essence, we just have to wait and... Uh, and see what he has to has to say about it, but you know, there's there's rumors in, in the wind, you know, that he wants to turn it into one of his own research facilities or something. In Southampton for Stony Brook News, I'm Colleen Harrington.